that you got there? Oh, uh, dude, this is a uh, some kind of magnetic fluid. I don't know. I bought it online, but it's supposed to be pretty sick. Like you just take a couple drops, and it's supposed to make all these crazy shapes. I don't know how it works, but um, crazy shape fluid from the internet, you say? Yeah, something like that. Crazy <laughs> demon fluid from the internet. <laughs> Yeah, that's, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm gonna just go for it, see what happens. So it says just take a drop of this or something? Alright. All right. Hey, what are you guys doing? Who are you? I'm the Nano Jimmy. <laughs> you need to wear safety tools while playing with a ferrofluid. It can result in permanent skin and cloth damage. And plus, Dr. Chen's gonna be mad at you. And by the way, your song sucks. Stupid energy, you tell me my song sucks. <laughs> Wait, oh, you're totally right. We don't have any safety equipment. Oh, Professor Chen would be so upset. Wait, but what are we gonna do? We have no safety equipment. <laughs> Wait, what? Thanks, Nano Genie. Oh, I can't play guitar with these. Uh... Before you can begin using ferrofluid, you must first embark on your quest. Seek out the last two remaining experts in the field of ferromagnetic technology. Yes, sir, Nano Genie. Right. Oh. I know what we must do. We must embark on a quest to find the leading experts in ferrofluid technology. Are you Dr. Rubix? We've heard you're an expert in ferrofluid technology. Can we please have a word with you? Yes, the nanogen told me to become a Come in, have a seat. We'd like to ask you a... Yes, ask me anything you'd like. Professor Rubix, we'd like to ask you... Why are you wearing sunglasses inside? I have very sensitive eyes. Professor Rubix, we have come from a far off land to consult you in your expertise about ferrofluid. But what we've really come to ask you is, what is ferrofluid? Yes, what is this spiky black substance of which you are an expert? Well, ferrofluid is simply nanomagnetite particles coated in a surfactant in order to prevent agglomeration. These particles are then suspended in a carrier fluid such as water or oil. And that gives you ferrofluid. That's very interesting. But what kind of properties does ferrofluid have? You tell me about the properties! Well, ferrofluid actually acts like any other liquid under normal conditions. When in the presence of a magnet, it acquires that magnet's field lines. The nanoparticles line up to it. Another very interesting property about ferrofluids is that at the bulk level, magnetite is actually a ferromagnetic material. When brought down to the nanoscale, magnetite turns into a paramagnet. The magnetization does not stay. That's also interesting. But how are these nanomagnetite particles made? What is it made of? Where does it come from? <laughs> well, iron 3 salt and iron 2 salt are mixed with a strong base. Out of this reaction, Fe3O4, which is magnetite, precipitates out at the nanoscale. Hmm. Okay, so now we know what ferrofluid is made of, but what can it be used for? Today, ferrofluid is used as a sealant in hard disk drives, for heat conduction in tweeters of speakers, and in materials recycling. In the future, ferrofluid may also be used as a less intrusive method of removing tumors by injecting a biocompatible ferrofluid and exposing it to a rapidly varying magnetic field. And that's that, ferrofluid. Wait, <laughs> professor, 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 professor! Genie? Oh, oh, what are you doing here? Now that you have completed your quest, show me what you learned. Alright, Nano Genie, we'll show you what we've learned, but on one condition let it be through song. <laughs> right! <laughs> Yeah,
that track. Walking around downtown thinking about a thing called feral fluid. If you ask me why, then I'll reply. I'm a nerd, but I think you knew that. So you ask me what it is, and I say what, and you say feral fluid. Well, that ain't no simple tale, but if you walk with me, then I'll tell it. Then I pull a vial out of my pocket. And then I pull out a magnet and you say Oh, what is this thing, this black ball of spikes? It looks like an evil porcupine Oh no, that's just how the fluid aligns Along magnetic field lines Removing the field makes the spikes go away A black pool of liquid is all that remains Despite the ferromagnetic part of its name the magnetization don't stay So you're asking me what this funky feral stuff could possibly be made of so I reply, it's made of magnetite on the nanoscale Covered with a surfactant to prevent agglomeration Then placed in oil and suspended by random atomic fluctuations Otherwise known as Brownian motion And then you ask about future applications what if this freaky colloidal suspension resembling Spider-Man's nemesis venom could be used for cancer detection? This is just a future projection. Who would have known that this black ball of spikes that looks like an evil porcupine or some kind of mutated rice could turn out so nice?